スリーテールスリーテールソードアウトソードアウトどこ入ってる What? He has a belly going with three tails I've never seen that So I've collected all the source water from all the breeders around the mountains So I'm going to get these tested with a lab Good morning everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode on the channel. Today, for the people who recognize these type of events, I am at the Dainichi Koi Farm. We doing a Sansai and the Yonzai harvest, that means a three and four year old, old harvest. Probably Kohaku and Showa in there. I always really look forward to these harvests because those fish on these ages at Dainichi are insane. Uh, body wise, length, skin quality, probably a lot of azugari fish, so that means that the, o that the fish already has an owner. I'm a bit tired, you can probably see it. I have some issues with my jet lag again. I thought I had a good sleep on the airplane. I woke up again tonight, last night at 2 a.m. in the morning, get back to sleep at 4 a.m. and then I was so tired, I was very hard to wake up at 7 because I had to be here at the Dainichi Koi farm around 7.30. First of all, I want to thank everyone that has watched the recent documentary. Uh, the views are doing really good, like in the first one and a half day, almost four 40,000 views, that's insane. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much effort, time is in creating that documentary. Putting it out there for free, hoping that people will watch it is such a big risk. I always trust in you guys and the viewers and I think I had like 130 comments in <coughs> the first day. <coughs> Uh, it is cold, it's 9 degrees. Uh, we had a lot of rain yesterday, um, today again. As you can see, this is the different lens that I used compared to yesterday. So yeah, there's my suit coming, guys. So I'm able to um, get do something with the harvest. How many pieces? 20. 20.
This is Yonsai. Sam Gozai. Yeah, and these fish are I'm speaking as beautiful. Thank you so much. So it is time for the second harvest guys. <clears throat> I thought maybe uh, it is nice to talk a little bit more than on the previous part of the first mud pond down there. Uh, this is quite a bigger mud pond. Um, I was surprised because in the other mud pond over there there were like I think um, 20 pieces in one pond. I'm not sure how many are in this pond but the guys are busy with um, getting the pond in. Uh, the net in, sorry, <clears throat> and uh, the sun is gone. Unfortunately, it was there, but now it's uh, it's gone. Slowly, they take in the net. You don't want to do this process too fast because if you do, then the fish will escape, and then they have to do it again, and that's not what we want today. So, uh, bit by bit, the net will be pulled in. This year it was quite a very heavy summer for the mud ponds because there was a lot of dry. Uh, normally in the summer they have a rain period around August, but this year it was too hot, too dry. And now we have the rain in the autumn, so it shifted a little bit. Doesn't really matter for the fun we have here, but for the growth of the fish it could have some influence. On the other side of the koi that came out of that mud pond I was really surprised because um, size is good, body is good, skin is good. So it really depends on the mud pond uh, and maybe also depends on the breeder. But uh, yeah, really cool. So can't wait to get the first fish out. There you go guys, some nice kohaku in there. You can see the mud is moving there because the fish are in the back of that net. So these are the little creatures you can find in these mud ponds. Let's say something about how healthy the clay and stuff is here. A lot of animals live in here. There is the truck.
血出た Let's go in our Gogan. Quite lovely to see how careful they handle the fish. So if you hear a strange sound, that's my drone that is up there doing some shots from this from there. Oh, it's just a nice view. There's a nice tan show. Soragoi. Another one. Look at that. So cool. Look at this huge. So that was the harvest. <coughs> uh, the Nis uh, sorry, Sansai. Yunzai and some Gosai. I am on my way to the other koi house back there because there are some Nissai that just arrived. So I'm very curious to that. Not sure if it's Azugari or if they're for sale. Because this trip, guys, I'm looking for some nice showa for myself. Maybe I find one here at Danichi. Not sure, it depends on the price. They're not the cheapest one, but looking for some nice fish to invest in. So let's see what they have here with the Nissai. Oh, it's busy. Oh, now I understand. Oh. Here we got the Nissan. Oh, wow. Oh, Nissan Shigeru. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Good, 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 good. Are you happy with the results? Okay, yeah, good results, yeah. They look amazing. It's all for sale or Azugari? No, that's for sale. Nice. Yeah, Just harvest it. And what an amazing quality. So they're for sale. People are already buying some, so very nice pieces in here. That one is just sleeping, guys. He's not dead, nor is they give a little bit some stuff. They do a little stuff in here so they are calm. So. Very, very nice ones in here. Beautiful, guys. Look at those beauties. A book Uh, this bowl is one of my favorite guys. Well, actually, two that I really like. One is the one on the left there. This one, the four step. Really nice skin. 
And, and then I like this one as well. Especially because of the fake pattern, which gets more body, yeah. will be even more beautiful. So. Deciding which one are the males and which one are the females. We immediately saw that that was a female. <laughs> What else? Looking at the fins to see if there's any. It's probably a but I'm not really sure. This is a little bit smaller than the rest, so I'm just gonna check it. So everyone is now deciding which they want, then Shiro is of course thinking about the prize and uh, it's very interesting so these are the males females i think these are the females as well all right all right everyone have a nice day bye, bye. Chiro san okay. thank you so much you. Nice so this is one of my favorite restaurants um it's owned by i think it's a philippine and uh, she makes the best curries here in the area. So it was pretty funny. I just uh, saw that there's already snow on the mountains. That's really quick. Hi. 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 Pretty cool next to the river. I've seen this river being like crazy when it was a storm or a typhoon. But today we're gonna eat some curry. Um, guys, you all know Ryan, he's from exclusively Poi. He has one of his nicest logos from the UK, but unfortunately he's not wearing that t shirt today. Do I need to introduce you, Lee? I think of course. Lee, Lee the Koi Soldier, guys, look him up, YouTube. Um, this guy is funny. He's great, he's nice. And, and he don't forget handsome. Look, look at that. <laughs> so yeah, these are the best curries in town, right, Ryan? Absolutely. I think so, yeah. Hi. Hi. So we have the curry, guys. All the same. Enjoy your meal. Fantastic. It was supposed to be sunny all day today, so I was kind of thinking, I didn't need to go buy this. But of course, yeah, I'm in there, it rained all day. Yeah. Up this <laughs> Look who joined us again. Little Arthur. This guy is one of the luckiest guys. He didn't have to go to school this week. Yeah. Yeah. He was able to go to Japan with yeah. his great view. Another two weeks. So what? Another one and a half weeks off. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Or maybe even more because of school's flooded. And your father, of course. <laughs> now I'm happy. <laughs> Look at that. Good, huh? Perfection. Yeah, that's awesome. Some more now, <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Thank you. <laughs> Next time I come over and meet you, I'll give you some parachute. Where are you going? Marushin. I'll follow you guys. Tama Saba time. Tama Tama. I will see. I'm, I will know. Oh no. Uh, I hope he still has some boys to show up. There's a lot this year. He has. Mm, okay, let's go there. I want to buy one. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm following you, yeah? Yes. Yes? Yeah, we're going to the snack bar. I wish you were following me, Evo. <laughs> <laughs> well, just give me a call. I will. Have fun, guys. Thank you. All right, let's jump in the car. Let's see where my key is. That's always the challenge. Here we go. So we, Lee, Ryan and I, arrived at Marushin Koi Farm. Love this koi house because it's actually brand new. Well, just a couple of years old. Lee, after you. Oh, thank you very you much, sir. And I'm a big fan of Marushin because he has very nice boat too. <coughs> so tight. Oh, I saw boy too in there.
Oh, we got meat pie here. Ryan, is this still for sale? Uh, it's no like the high-end females. But it's sold, or? Uh, might be. Might be, yeah. This is other daddy. Oh, well, that's what the sign says. Oh, jackpot! <laughs> You've come across a pot of gold. Do you like them? To be honest, I'm a chubby chaser. I don't like them. I like it. It's not my cup of tea, but. I do understand people like it though. Oh, wow. Oh, now he's happy. Now he's happy. <laughs> yeah, I just. Let's see what's in here. Because this is really awesome. Let's do something that I normally can't do. Oh, look at that! Sort of reader sees it. There we go. Um, it could be, yeah, I think so. Just talking about the prices of Marushin, that he got pretty expensive the last few years, in my opinion, but it's fair because he has some very nice quality fish, especially the Showa and the Deutsche ones. I love them. Yeah. I don't know if he is here around, but we'll see. We're now up the hill at his older Koi house. Well, this one is pretty new actually, but this is the older one. Hey, it's nice shot. All right, so I love these magnets. So if you want to have one of these magnets, just give me a sign and I go to the shop, buy some, and I can ship them to any country. All right, let's go inside. This is the older Koi house. Then we see what we got here. Mm. Also, this side a little bit smaller. So let's see if it's close me. Well, nothing really to see. A lot of air. He uses a lot of air, eh? Like yeah, really a lot. Look at that, guys. Got some nice Deutsches in here as well. Um, there's some pretty ones there. So this is sold out. And these are the females. I don't know if this is sold out as well, but... That sign says sold out. <laughs> And it's male. Half past one. Well, they know me, I'm like an hour lunch today. got here this is something I really like to have in my backyard yeah it's small it's not that big but you still have like six pounds you can wow, thank you. 
put some nice small koi in here, some a couple of big ones, not too much. Oh yeah, we'll be tapping some in here. So these bugs are the ones that are hiding in your boots if you don't watch out. And they smell, right? These one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you're not putting your boots away or you put something in there, these little bugs go in there. And oh man, these guys can give a hell of a smell in your clothing. So you don't want to have these buddies in there. Everything heated. Oh, a lot of the winter. Oh. oh, those are big. Yeah. Yeah. So I've collected all the source water from all the breeders around the mountains. So I'm going to get these tested with a lab, and then have a map, and then with all the different water kind of qualities. I would love to film you at customs with all the stuff you're taking back home. <laughs> They're going to be small is little it, vials. Is this going to be in your hand luggage? No, it's going to be in my in my uh, in my um, <laughs> checked in luggage. <laughs> this guy, I, I'm, I need to confess, he's a genius. <laughs> hey, Steve. <laughs> hey, Steve. How you doing? Hello. Yes, very well, thanks. I see some familiar faces. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey, good to see good you. To see you hey guys. How you doing? Good. Oh, Tom. look at that. Welcome. Good. How are good you? To good well, to see you again. Well. Beautiful guys. Nice We're to see you. Too late. We just bought it. We just bought them all. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a nice one. Wow. Big fan of Afazagi. Good. Well, they have enough, I see. What's that? So that was fun. That was one of um, the visitors of Hunter's event in Tennessee, and he is here with Brian and uh, a lot of other people from the United States. So pretty cool to see everyone here now back with the two real lads. <laughs> so I've been here once. This is Otsuka, Otsuka Koi Farm and he is busy with everything what i always like here is these green tanks and then all the colors pop yeah, out yeah, yeah. there's there there was one breeder that told me back in the days like five or ten years ago that this is like the most the color that comes the most to the greenish color in nature and that's they're getting calm from it i don't know if it's a myth or something no it's true green actually calms your retina so when i used to do a lot of shooting shooting on the ranges sniping where my rifle is i used to have a uh, this color green patch so when i concentrate and shoot for like five ten minutes i just look at the patch in between shooting to relax my retina yeah that's true hey there's a lot of kiyotsuri What do we have here? Got a nice fish. Oh, this is already sold. More kiyotsuri, asagi. Probably sold. <laughs> He's got to take a picture for his own administration. Oh, sorry. It's no, problem. Oh, no, problem. no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. We get it. No, no problem. <laughs> that was my sunglasses. <laughs> Somewhere in the pond, though. <laughs> oh, in the corner. There goes my raven. <laughs> no problem, no problem, no problem. <laughs> it was on camera, though. That's cool. What nice fish in here, guys. I love these. So, so I some very nice kiyotsuri, some genuine kiyotsuri, asagi, some benigoi. What kiyotsuri? Oh, oh, there oh, is. Oh, it's a Oh, <laughs> thanks, buddy. Uh, One million. Sold. Sold. 
Here Sandbox. it is again. I give this to you. Thanks. Oh, now it's clean again. <laughs> you should see the best fish in this pond. I think it's in this it's got, got no tail. No way. Yeah. Got no tail. That doesn't sound good though. It actually looks cool. I'm sure it's in this one. Hi. You got the Benny guy with the double tail? Huh? Is it still in here? Three tail. Three tail. You sold. Sold out. What? He has a Benny guy with three tails. I've never seen that. No way. That can't be true. Let's see if I can find it. It's, it's so cool. I knew someone would buy it as well. I knew they would. Oh, look at that Deutsche Kohaku. <laughs> yeah, it's down there. It's underneath this net coming towards you now. No way. It's coming here. If you come round. Oh, it's under the net there now. He's going to pick it up. This fish has three tails. Look at that. Yeah. How cool is that? That's unbelievable. It's a new variety. Try to. That's really cool. Nice Jinrin Shagoi. Oh, that looks amazing, huh? Mm. Look at that. Almost cold. Nice. Huge. These are so popular nowadays. Yeah. It's crazy how many people eat one of these. Looking for Ryan? Shimmers at Bangalore Bay. Do you want to talk us through a good selection? Yeah, it's got shimmers on the head. Oh, yeah. Wow, it's a nice one. Two, Ryan probably picked out. He was looking for some black spots or shimmies on the head. And um, the other ones are back in the pond, and the two that he wants to have are here in the bowl. So. Right. Okay. That was the sign that he bought them. That easy. That's easy how it goes, guys, in go. Japan. <laughs> That's it's how easy you can make money. Okay. <laughs> it's easy buying it with someone else's money. Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> So yeah, Lee just said, I forgot to record, that you can buy these secondhand for 3,500 euros or something. But actually, the government gives the breeders discount to keep the industry going. I love these K-Trux. I would love to have one in the Netherlands, but <laughs> they're hard to get. But you cannot destroy them. They're so strong. I know. They're good off-road as well. Yeah, they're four-wheel drive. Everywhere. They're four-wheel oh, drive. stinky bug. So, I, I've not experienced the smell of these. Have you got a push them or just get, get them nervous and they start squirting juice or yeah you have to bite on them it sounds like my ex-wife <laughs> no I better not touch it apparently they stink for days don't they eat them I have had a frog I give you I give you 20 pounds oh, no I don't know about that he's running away yeah. but yeah the, these cage trucks are cool I like them I have looked, you can get them in the UK, but they're, they're about seven grand in the UK. Well, second hand ones, you know. I mean, if you, if you have like a koi store or something, how cool is it to have one well, like just, this? Well, just for advertising, it's good, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, Hunter has one in black. In really? Yeah. Pretty cool, actually. Yeah. I like them. 
It's my dream car. Everyone wants a Ferrari like you, but I want this one. Yeah, but imagine that. Go through Starbucks drive through Oh man, I can, fit, I can fit a filter system in the back here. <laughs> and deliver all the Oasa Pro V players to all the people. <laughs> That's what you need. Well, it's probably, oh, it's a fancy iPhone. <laughs> or it's probably the phone from Ryan. <laughs> Do it. We don't know what it is actually, but... <laughs> is it pepper? Or is it... No, it's okay. It's nice. It's a sweet one. <laughs> mm. I added one of Takano's last week and it was boiling. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It always takes like 20 seconds before it hits. No, this is just a sweet, <laughs> pleasant one. Yeah. Those pips are hot. Sorry? What did you... The do? pips were hot. <laughs> oh! Oh, El Scorchio. Oh, it's got up my nose. Yeah, I'll have some Otsuka's water there now, look. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> the pips are boiling. Oh. This is actually genius, guys, because normally when you don't have the ring, all the foam spreads through the pond. But now these um, rings prevent the proteins and the foam getting into the pond. So it's actually really smart. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Or maybe I do have, but I've never realized what the purpose was. But it's great. It's awesome because this is all very nice. Oh man, I love these varieties, guys. These sagis and these deep red. How we call them, uh, Lee? Aka. Aka Matsubas. Matsubas. Beautiful. Look at that. Super crisp. These fish look to be around what's 70 cm, do you reckon? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Alright, guys, we're at Isakoi Farm. How are you? Alright, guys, Isakoi Farm. We had some uh, tea time with uh, Mitsunori, son, and still joining with uh, Ryan and Lee. I hope the sound is good here, but he has some really nice fish this year. The proper ones. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. That is so beautiful. That's my favorite already. Yeah. That is insane. Look at that, guys. This show has so much ride. There's still so much shumi to do. Right? This is the type. I like that one as well because of that. Almost like the, the mask it has on the top. This one. But that one is incredibly beautiful. Look at that. Look at that me. Wow. That's insane. It almost like has a mask, a black mask on it. Yeah, beautiful. Of course, we have more on this side. Look at that. Look at this really. Most of the fish here are males. So this is the lower quality going up there to the higher quality. These are probably still females. Some good ones in here. Look at that guys. That's beautiful. 